In this video, we'll talk about scroll heat maps. To get started, select a website to work on, then select heat maps, scroll, and open a particular heat map from the heat map list. The scroll heat map shows us which parts of a page are visible. You can see the top of this page is red, and then we start to have a color change. In the lower left corner, we can see the maximum and minimum colors which indicate visibility on the page. The way to interpret this is almost every visitor sees the areas that are in red. Then as the color starts to change, we start to lose visitors because they don't tend to scroll down on longer pages. We have a fold line which is where the average screen cuts off. It's fair to say that anything below this line requires scrolling. Then we can actually measure how many visitors see particular points on a page based on their scrolling. As I continue to scroll down, we'll see the number get lower and lower and lower. In fact, toward the bottom of this page, we can see that only 40% of people make it down this far. One of the best things about this heat map is as you move your cursor, this white box of metrics will follow. You can position that over any element and it'll tell you exactly what percentage of visitors view that particular part of the page. In this case, it's 42%. We also see the average time spent in this part of the page and the average engagement time as well. Using this menu here, we can switch between heat maps of different pages. We also see the total number of views that this particular page has had. We can adjust the intensity or opacity of the overlay as well, and we can switch between different heat map types. It's easy to also change between different devices if you want to compare the scroll percentage or visibility based on those different screen sizes. You can adjust the date using the familiar control available elsewhere throughout the application, and you can open the detail drawer to see a quick summary of metrics for this particular page from the heat map list. Finally, you can open the heat map in full screen, download the heat map, share the heat map, or open the page in question for further analysis.